Well, hello there, and welcome back to Divide and Conquer version 5, as we continue on as the High Elves. In the last episode, we got a certain Mr. Glorfindel return on his beautiful horse, Asphaloth. And he comes with all sorts of wonderful traits, and we're going to get a wonderful army here in the east. And we're going to be sending him many places of excitement and woe. We're going to also go to start today's episode, which we have to lift the Siege of Bree. We have gone on a bit of a rampage. We've taken Mickle Delving, we've upgraded it, and now looks at Elven. So we're trying to help the Northern Dunedain here, who are holding on. They still have Gandalf the White in Hobbiton. They haven't moved him out yet. But we um, have taken Bree, and we're going to use Bree as our little staging post so we can sort of influence the war in the north. But um, he snuck inside it, Tirithon, and now we've got to sort of lift the siege. We're not going to command the reserves. We're not going. To, we don't want him to come out and do anything, actually. Or do we want? No. He comes with two thousand eight hundred men. A lot of them are wargs. Mount Grand Marauders, and then he's got three units of skirmishers and raiders as well. I think the raiders um, throw javelins from memory. But he's also got one of these Black Pike um, Hammer Guard and Pike, sorry, of Angmar as well. So it's a decent enough force to Ballister as well, which is irritating. But we're going to have... I don't want to command any of them. Command this army, so the AI will be doing that. Fabaru. So we've got a brand new army. We don't really care if lots of them die. We just need to make sure that we've got a garrison inside of Bree. So battle up. Is that? That must be from the Hobbit because he's walking around with dwarves. Anyway, what do we have? We have the hill. So hopefully our loyal allies will make them come up the hill, because they'll be surrounded on all sides, is the plan. We've got our pikes, we've got our... spears on the side, then we've got our standard Lindar bows, we've got some Sindar as well. The unpronounceable name, I just can't be bothered to try and say the general's name anymore. He's got a, a difficult name, is all we need to know. And we've got some axes as well to go around. They can drop their pikes if possible. And actually, if we just go a little bit down the hill, that'll be grand. We have to straighten you up because you didn't fit. You're coming from behind us. To our right, we have... There's two units. There's two armies coming from our right. He's behind us. That's the Dunedain. Ah, and there's the other elven army down there as well. Let's see if we can nullify some of these stupid skirmisher wargs. Just a bit of a free-for-all at the minute. Let's see if we can take some of those Mount Grand Marauders out. Not only are they the strongest cavalry unit that they've got, they're stood in amongst their own infantry, which means if we miss, we hit something else. That's a good target. Oh, 
Are the spears on defense? No. It's 18 of them. Here come the Dunedain. Probably want to take out their archers. Would be helpful. Oh, they've charged. They're going to lose that. They've charged straight into our Linden Long Spears. With got. Oh, he's got through. Look at that. No, he died. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Take out the larger archer section. Right, we've got two missile cam which we can use to get rid of them. Oh, there's another unit. Tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Damn right he does. Only half the enemy force remains. On break for me. What have you got? They're gone. Right, so the two arch, two axes go after that north guard unit. Head to Nadine scouts, so we can fold in on this side as well. It's all going rather nicely. What we need to do is get down the hill. Help out our allies by taking out the baluster that's shooting at them. If you could just charge down there, take out the pikes, that would be lovely. They broke straight away. Onto the hammer guard. We don't want to lose too many men, so if we just do that, we can just shoot at them. Greenway Spears. Amanya Swordmasters. Oh, it's just a... The first battle where we've unified the North. What could we... There's got to be something we can kill. Ah, so we, actually, we don't want to, do we? Because everybody's firing arrows. Just leave it. 
let everyone else sort it out. What we could do with taking out that pipe guard. That's why we don't. It's just the deluge of arrows that just went after that pike unit. Now we'll just. We have, all we need to do. Oh! The two elven armies lost 108 but killed 3,800 between them. Strong performance. And like I said, we're going to be using Bree as kind of our version of Israel. Now, before that gets clipped and I'm told I'm raising it, uh, it's our base. F just, we're not going to take any territory in the region, but we are going to be using it to have an influence on how the war is going, very much like the Americans use Israel. Ex that was the comparison I was making. Uh, execute. And more importantly... We protect the Elven land. Science. He can now get inside, and we can combine these armies in a second and have a proper fighting force. We've got two spies in there, we can get them out when the... Speak to our dignitaries. Um, when the culture turns. So we've saved off Ostsul, because all of these forces, either they fought it off, I don't think they did, I think they've all just come to Bree because we came charging in from the west. So, state of play, we need five territories and we need to kill Isengard. We have a spy, hopefully, down in Isengard so we can see what's there. Azog is there. Don't know anything else about that. So the next thing to do, hang on, are you building stuff? No, we're not waiting for that, are we? Right, Glorfindel, heavy knights from Eregion. So we can, I think he's just got here. So actually, I think we're going to be giving him a Sindar force. We've got any more Sindar units. Dorna Norston's coming up from the south. Yeah, we'll make a Sindar army and a Noldor army as well. Hopefully that will be enough to go and help out Kamath Bryn. Oh, we built some things in the Mountain Pass. That's helpful. We have already lost a twin, which is a bit, a bit of a shame. That's the dwarves. I think the dwarves need this... The the old, the formerly named Goblin Town, for their victory conditions. Same as Enid Wife, I think they need Bregost, which is why every turn they try and bribe my settlement, but you can't do that on the mod anymore. So, ha! Right. Hopefully, Angmar buggers off. Still got some. Ooh. Yes, my lord. There's the target. We must defend these lands. We would very much like to get you out. Take it for the elves. I'll do that. It's only twenty-four of them. We must defend these lands. Can you go back inside there? Elves. And we'd like you to get all the way down. Ah, and we're now making money as well because Bree is fantastically wealthy. Why can't we build a barracks?
can't build ports, we know that. You should... He should be able to build um, the Noldor one. Why can he not? That's a bit of a worry. Right, let's see if we can get an uber army. We're going to give Glorfindel some Sindar units. That's the plan for him. So we're going to need to probably combine a few. Is that how we're going to do it? And Dawn and Austin's turning up as well. Okay, so what archers do we have? We may need to take a little bit of time. No, we're not going to be able to retrain any of them. That's going to be a little bit of a worry. Right, how many archers do we have to contribute? There we go. Hmm... So he's got six archers. Elven warriors. He's going. We don't have any pikes like that. So we'll take the spears out. Oh, why are you doing this? Break away! Come, my brother! Reinforcements! By the light of Elbereth! Follow me. Yes, Probably best if I just make sure they're all... See, it's moving it around. I don't know why. Got five spears. How many axes oh, can we get out of it? By the light of Elbereth! Onward! For the light. That'll do. So we've got two spots left. I would imagine. My lord. Come, my brothers. Or do we Help. want to put the Eregian Smiths in? No, I think we were saving him to go south. Follow me. Come, my brothers. Sword masters. Elves. Yes, my lord. One gold, one silver. Swiftly. That is an army for the ages. And you shall now go back up to the north. Right, Gildor the Fearless, what have you got? By the light of Elbereth. Scout the area. Right, come in here and hopefully we can retrain a few. Now we want to retrain the 27 then, don't we? No, no. Can't be training any of them. My lord. He's on his way down. So we're going to hopefully have an all gold elven army. Now the cavalry's not gonna be very good, but we are going to take the Dawn and Austin with the um Who's he called? Elrond. Which will be fun. Don't know if we're going to get inside Mount Bram. I think the ring... No, the ring's moved, hasn't it? The ring's now up here. So we can't do any of that. You're all building. You're still useless. What do we make a go? Four grand profit. That's not bad. And we've just got a collection of odd things down here. We've got three arch units. Lindar Guard. What is that? I'm gonna stick you. I would assume that we'll be fine. You're recruiting some stuff. 
Ah, can you build things? Because you haven't got any armor on you to speak of whatsoever. Come and get me. Right. Something is moving its way. Don't know what's happening with you. That's probably um, because we can't retrain any of our forces now that we've got as far as Bree. Dwarves of Eridluin still snail-like in their progress. The only dwarves that we don't talk to are the dwarves of Erebor. We found out in the last, I think it was the last one, Erebor are in Mordor as we speak. They've, <laughs> they've actually won a heroic victory on Black Land. So the burnt lands, good on them. Lots of lovely progress in the east. Dorwinian is absolutely caning it as well. I don't know if Dorwinian are elven or north yes, men based. Swiftly. Conceal our movements. Right, Austin Athil. Oh no, they've turned back. Austin Elra here. Want population. And Under Towers has built a rain exchange. We're going to want that. Now uh, you can build and I just think I'm worried that we can only build what's this? Uh, victory by the remnants of Angmar. By the light of Elberon, we can only build Dunedain units here for some stupid reason. Coming of age, we've got another little elf. Ah, it's a son of one of the twins. That's useful. Elves, follow me. Um, he's probably not going to be that helpful. Is there someone in here? Yes. Come, my brothers. So you might as well just come back to him because we've got Glorfindel, the wonderful, or whatever his name is. Be gone. Come and get me, you cow. Scout the area. I will only address. Scatter them. We've did come and get me. Right, let's play with Gorfindel. Let's get him back home. We're waiting to... Oh, we've got these three again. They're all the units from Eregion. We're very excited about them. We just send them down here. Mithril Guard? What is that? That's a new unit. I assume their armor stat is going to be unspeakably high. Right, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Imladris has retrained one of the horses. Elves. I do think we're going to have to we'll just fill it out with the two generals that are here. We're going to be replacing with the two Oregian smiths, so we just need to Make sure everything's all good to go. Right, let's have a look at Glorfindel. They've got some just men. Now, men will be run down like grass in front of our new Eregian heavy knights. And he has a special ability. And he's fought a Balrog. And his horse has got a special name. So he's just insane. Look at them. And he's covered in golden armor as well. What a guy. What a guy. So if we... We're in a ditch at the minute. We don't want to be there. Hopefully they come to us. We're going to have a shield wall. Right. 
We're going to have the archers in behind. We're going to have a, a contingent of flanking forces. Superb knights. Oh, he's got the light of Elbereth as well. We have no intention in doing anything other than playing with our new horse. Where are their dark blades? Thralls. What's at the back? They're thralls as well, aren't they? Can't see yet. Right. Let's see what the Aurelian Knights do. Oh, they look so good. And they've got lances. We're going to butcher this unit. We haven't lost a single horse yet. It's very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Probably give him another charge. Out you come, friends. Out you come. Oh, someone's shooting at us. That's not very nice. What we want to do is we want to clear out the dark blades. You have a light of Elbereth. Might as well use our flanks a bit more aggressively. They're gone. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. I want you to chase those dark blades when you're done. Oh, you're already done. Still not lost a horse. What a guy. Only half the enemy force remains. Army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Hmm. Probably don't want you firing and our wonderful Aurelian knights. If you go that way, that's what we want to kill. Is that all one unit? I think it is. They're just so, so pretty.
Oh, he's got himself an extra chevron. What a guy. Has anything escaped? What are you firing at? Let's mop them up. This is a Done. victory. And how many did they get? <laughs> you only got. A hundred and three hundred and twenty-eight. What did the other one get? Not that much. Mm, it wasn't a large army. But they didn't lose a man. And we were really just sort of leaving the army still and running around with them. So high hopes for the Aregian heavy knights. I wasn't expecting to have him. I, I, that's, like, I know the scripts that are, affect the Woodland Realm and Lothlorien and Dorwinian. They're my three... This is my, these are my least favourite Elven faction, if that makes sense. We, protect the Elven lands. we, could, do, we could just do what we want with him. It's just, he's now a warrior. Of course he's a warrior. He's killed a Balrog. Now, the fact we can't do anything with these is a bit of a worry. Come, my brothers. Do I want Mengelin as well? Why can't... Oh, that's one for the... If you know why I can't... My building browser doesn't show... It's not the... Done a dying encampment either. Because we've got a done a dying thingamabob. Haven't we? Where's it gone? In Imladris. We can definitely train. Done dying camp. Oh, maybe that is it. Maybe we. Let's. Let's just destroy that for a second. No, is the answer. And now I've just... Oh. Oh well, never mind. We'll, be, we'll rebuild that as soon as we've got the two turns done. Hopefully, though, they're in a position... Elven warriors. ...where they sort of push out now. Hopefully we've sort of stabilised the region. I don't want to have to... Well, we might... We could do that. We could probably muster an attack on Fornos the Rain or what was it called? D Dead Man's Dyke. We could give that to them as well. And then after that, we have done plenty. We have done our bit for the for the cause. Standard bribing attempts. And we've got to genuinely think about heading south. <laughs> the problem is that we're, just as we were getting ready to do it, we got Glorfindel and we we're like, ooh, shiny, shiny. We're not blockading that port. So in this, they just don't know what to do now, do they? Is he still in there? Look, Glandalf the White. What is his general? Arthur Dyne, a royal guard. I 
Oh, the I king's come. Your people as if they were my own friend. What is up here? Let's have a look. Two units. This army is absolutely knackered. But what we could do is take the army that's a bit weaker. You can hold Bree. Like the wind. Elves, we must give up the road. Take one of you out. Any chance? Sixty-four. My lord. Eighty-eight. Seventy-two per chance, uh, percent chance of getting in there. All right, we were building an army, weren't we? We're still on that turn. Ah, seventy-eight is the lowest. Seventy-two is the lowest, and seventy-two is the lowest. So Elrond's nearly ready to go. Swiftly, come, my brothers. Yes, my lord. Come on. This chap. No, Gildor. We'll just get Gildor out. And this chap. We join in arms. Sire. My lord. Swiftly. That should be enough. Follow me. Onward. We join in arms. Right, we're finally going to get to play with Dawn and Austin. We're going to leave the Elder Windray Tierno, the Pike unit. We're going to leave it behind. What is this? Ooh, we can build them here. And there'd be free upkeep as well. Follow me. Be gone. Right, so all we have to do is wait one more turn and we're going to have a super army. I would back Long Lyndon Longspears would be a good enough defensive unit to hold Bree. It's a custom battle map from memory. Like it, it looks, it's a really, it's quite a strange one. You can walk in between the houses, I think. So you need. We can't retrain them as well. So that army is just there to die. Hopefully, that spy's done his work. And we can turn the former capital of Arthurdine, or is it Arnor? This is our last stand, my friends. That's fine. Don't worry about that. It's what Glorfindel's for. He's just chilling. Yes. Good. Oh, what is in there? Come, my brothers. Combine you two. Are you going to let me in? I'm just taking a little bit of a gamble doing this. Ah, oh, the gates are open. Keep them off balance. That will tip the war definitely if we can get them to hold on to it. Right, you needed that encampment because reasons. Forty-eight percent. What do you need? 
Oh, so we're just going to have to build an army of Dunedain units and leave them there then. That's fine. Mickle Delving, this is where money comes into it. I'll just get a haul of coal. No, we'll just leave it. You're going to the fort. Oh, they've moved out. Oh, what are you doing? You've lost it. Yes, my lord. Ah, oh, they are just disappointing as a country. Don't forge Arnor at the very start. It's not worth it. Okay, we do have something to do. Yes, oh my god, this is going to be so good. For the light! My lord? Oh, we can't retrain the 89. We'll be fine. We'll just retrain them later. Right, Dorna Norston and his friend need to come this way as well. Right, we've got five of them. In they go. How many are left? Seven units left. Five of them and two horses. Oh, look at this. That's going to be an incredible army. Dorna Norston Come, my thinks he's in charge of the army. Come and get me, so you and you are all coming back here. Oh, some clans of Ened Wythe have come a wandering. We haven't seen these three units in battle yet, it's really annoying. Right, Glorfindel's going to need to move into position. He's got some snow trolls. Ooh. We've got Glorfindel. So he's dead. That's mighty exciting to do. That's what the next um, battle will be, as next episode will be, as well as sneaking inside Dead Man's Dyke Elves. with our sort of bit knackered army. Or do I want to keep it? That's the question. Well, I just stretched myself a bit thin. No, I think I want to give it back to them. But we'll leave it there for today. So we are ticking over quite nicely. We've got two super armies of the West. Hopefully we can get an absolute Eregion stack with all of its specialized units, which are the new ones for the EUR mod. But we'll leave it there for today. So thank you very much for watching. If indeed you have, do take care of yourselves and goodbye for now.